Have you ever wondered what separates successful investors from everyone else? Why is it that some people seem to effortlessly accumulate wealth while others struggle just to make ends meet? It all comes down to the psychology of wealth. Our mind plays a huge role in how we approach money and wealth. Ultimately, our mindset, the habits we create, are the deciding factor in determining whether you will be a successful investor or someone who struggles. Let's start with the mindset of successful investors and then we'll reveal their habits. The first mindset trait of successful investors is that they think big. They have a vision for the future and they know that investing is the key to making that vision become a reality. They don't settle for mediocrity, but instead they set high goals and work towards achieving those goals. Even though they may not reach those goals, the second mindset trait prevents them from ever giving up even if they fail. The second mindset trait of successful investors is that they believe in themselves. They have confidence in their abilities and their decisions. They don't suck at guess themselves or let fear hold them back. They take calculated risk and trust in their own judgment because it's based on their third mindset trait, which is that they have a growth mindset. They see failures and setbacks as opportunities to learn and grow. They don't give up when things get tough, but instead they use those experiences, success and failures to improve themselves and their investments. This desire to continually be improving, it snowballs their investing success because of their fourth trait, which is that they have a mindset of abundance. They believe that there's enough wealth in the world and success to go around for everyone and that they can achieve their own goals without taking away from others. They don't see the world as a zero sum game but instead they focus on creating value for themselves and for other people. The problem is that if you only have these four mindset traits, you still won't be a successful, wealthy investor. You need to have the habits of successful investors also. Well, combined, they create the complete psychology of wealth. The first habit of successful investors is that they have a long-term mindset. They understand that investing it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, and that it takes time to build wealth. They don't get caught up in the short-term gains or losses, but instead they focus on the big picture. This is where many people go wrong with investing. They get caught up in the day-to-day -day fluctuations of the market and make impulsive decisions based on emotions. But successful investors, they know that the market, it will always have its ups and downs, and they have a long-term plan in place that lets them weather any storm. They successfully weather even the worst storms because of the second habit of successful investors, which is that they educate themselves. They understand that knowledge is real power, and they take the time to learn and gain knowledge about the markets, about different types of investments, how to plan their financial journey that will lead them to their ultimate goal. They read books, attend seminars, and consult with experts to make well-informed decisions. This is especially important in today's world where information is readily available and misinformation is just as common. Successful investors, they know how to separate fact from fiction, and they make informed decisions based on real data and research. That data and research, it helps them to realize that it is vital to have a diversified portfolio. That is the third habit of successful investors. They understand the importance of spreading their investments across different asset classes and sectors to minimize risk and to maximize their returns. They don't have all their eggs in just one basket, but instead they have a balanced portfolio that includes stocks, some type of bonds, options, ETFs, and other investment vehicles. This is another area where many people go wrong when it comes to investing. They put all their money in one stock or sector, hoping for that big payoff, but then they end up losing everything when things go bad. Successful investors, they know that diversification is the key to long-term success. But diversification alone, it isn't sufficient to ultimately be successful. They need this fourth habit of successful investors, which is to have a disciplined approach. Once they have created a winning formula or approach, they stick to their investment plan, and they don't get swayed by emotions or outside influences. They have a set of rules and guidelines that they follow, and they stick to them no matter what. This is especially important when things get tough, like during a market downturn or an economic recession. Successful investors, they don't panic and sell everything at a loss. Instead, they stay the course and stick to their plan, knowing that the market will eventually recover. They might be thinking, that all sounds great, but how do I actually apply these habits and mindset to my own life? Well, the good news is that anyone can become a successful investor with the right approach. First, set long-term goals and then create a plan to achieve those goals. This plan should include a diversified portfolio that considers your own risk tolerance and financial situation. Second, educate yourself about the markets and the different types of investment vehicles. Watch videos like you're doing right now. 
read books, attend seminars, consult with real experts that have a proven track record to help you make informed decisions. Third, have a disciplined approach and stick to your investment plan. Don't let short-term fluctuations in the market sway you from your long-term goals. Then, adopt a growth mindset and work at believing in yourself. See setbacks and failures as opportunities to learn and grow and always strive to improve yourself and your investments. If you'd like to become a part of my community and get an alert as soon as we buy stocks and sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how I would learn option trading if I had to start all over as a beginner, check out the video at the link above and the description below entitled, How I Would Learn Option Trading If I Could Start Over. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.